yes. And here we'll do that. Nice. And oh, forgot that. And awesome. Okay. So have my coffee. All right. Pilates stretch today. Oh, see, look at here comes. Here comes Miss Kimmy. Kim's coming to Pilates stretch. All right. Wow, that's, I think that's a, almost a first. Welcome, Kim. All right, let's start with a big arm circles all the way up and around. Nice and big, nice and slowly. And the other way, reaching for the walls, the ceiling and the ground. And let's do the other arm. Nice big deep breath in through the nose and out. And let's go the other way. Same thing. Reach, reach, reach. Lengthen your arm as it's moving around. And let's open up our arms nice and wide. Shoulders in their sockets. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. And let's squeeze our arms forward. All right, tiny pulse. Lengthen your arms and push like you're pushing cement. Work all those little tiny, tiny muscles in your arms. And let's do our palms backwards. And the same thing. Just nice and slowly. Your neck is nice and relaxed. Your shoulders are in their sockets. Let's push it back. Now palms are going up and let's push it up. Lengthen your arms, push up. Feel the tiny muscles in your shoulders working. And now palms down, push it down. Lengthen those arms. And bring those arms all the way down. Roll your shoulders, one, two, and three and forwards. One, two, and three. And again, open up our arms nice and wide. Rib cage up off our hip bones and let's come across for one. Squeeze, two, three, and the other side. One, squeeze those shoulder blades two and three and bring those arms down give those arms a nice little wiggle 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 and then reach high up to the sky and let's sway side to side go with your breathing nice and slowly breathing in and out with your movement And then reaching nice and tall again. Nice big deep breath in and we're going down for six full body squats. Coming down those side arms and booty back. All the way up. I don't know about you, but my glutes are really sore today. I'm really feeling, <laughs> feeling my glutes. Oh. I think we had quite the, the glute week. Nice big deep breath in and coming all the way back down. And squeeze those glutes at the top and bring your hands all the way back down. Let's do three air squats backwards. One, two, and three and fours. One, two, and three. And the other leg. Two, three, and fours. One, two, and three. And then let's go all the way up on our tippy toes, squeezing those calves. 
and down on one, up on two, down. Oh, I'm not going up, up. You know what you're doing. All the way up and down. And coming all the way down. All right, let's just roll our ankle around. Really big circles. Plotty stretch, we really exaggerate our movements. Nice and slowly and do the other foot. And then let's go the other way. Awesome. All right, let's go up on onto our ballet toe. Scrunch those toes in half, pushing your foot forward. And then while your toes are folded there, just go all, move them side to side. And come back down and go on the outside of your foot. And back down. And then up again, up on your tippy toe, like fold your toe again, pushing your arch forward and push that heel all the way down. And let's just do the other side, going up on your tippy toe and moving across your toes, scrunching them into the mat. Push your arch forward and then push your heel all the way down and go on the outside of that foot and back down. Squinch your fingers in and out and your toes. Okay, and let's do scissors, scissors. Still scrunching your toes, move those toes all around. And, and let's do middle fingers together and your other fingers. Awesome. All right. Give a nice little shake a <laughs> And we're going to do a nice little pad up. So I'll waking up all that fascia, padding all the way up your legs. Wake up those glutes, what fascia, your hip flexors, and your belly, and your pecs, coming up your arms, and your other arm, tingles, all right, and up your neck, and feather across your face, and then let's go right behind our skull here. And we're going to wiggle, wiggle, wiggle right under your skull. Get those tendons. And while you're wigging, wigging, while you're wigging, while you're wiggling there, just moving everything back there, shift your eyes right to left. Just your eyes. Now up and down. Still wiggle. Awesome. All right. And then let's get right in your collarbones here. Okay. And let's just shake it out. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Wake it up. Get all your lymph nodes jumping. Okay. Awesome. Let's start uh, off with step one, two, just to get our, our body all warmed up. So we're going to go right, left, kick, right, left extend kick right left extend and then start swinging your arms your rib cage is nice and tall up off your hip bones nice big deep breath in through your nose and out and we're going to switch it up here left forward left right kick left right extend nice breathing last one all right okay let's stand at the end of your mat and with a nice big deep breath in we're going to go all the way up to the sky Lengthen everything all the way up there. 
And with a nice big deep breath out, we're coming all the way back down to rag doll. Let's pulse our feet out. So bring, go up on your toes, folding your toes in half, pushing your heels back down. Bring both heels down to the mat. Arms are spaghetti. Soft bend in the knees. You're going to pulse it up, finding that lowest vertebrae. All right, weight distributed evenly over both feet. Lowest vertebrae and start rolling up nice and slow, getting every vertebrae. You're at your shoulder blades and roll your shoulders back bring your hands all the way up tall to the sky again reach 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 and then down those side walls we're in ragdoll again this time your right arm is longer than your left your belly pulled to your back weight distributed evenly over both feet we're rolling up again this time we're going to be Focusing on the left side of your vertebrae. Start straightening your legs. Lowest vertebrae. Feel the left side opening up. And roll your shoulders back. Coming all the way back up to the sky again. Reaching up there and coming all the way back down. Soft bend in the knees, and this time your left arm is longer. I had to think about that. Your left arm is longer than your right. Pulse it. Feel the lowest vertebrae and start rolling up, straightening your legs first. Belly into your back. And roll your shoulders back. Again, coming all the way to tall up to the sky again. And all the way back down. We're going to walk our hands out to downward dog. Push away from your hands. You're up on your knuckle pads. Belly being pulled up to the sky. Push away from your hands. Move your hips side to side for the extra little little stretch there along your side of your body. And let's raise that right leg up high behind you. Three kicks. Bend that knee and look underneath your right shoulder. Pull, pushing that knee to that back wall. Straighten that leg all the way out again and bring it all the way through to your right thumb. We're in low lunge here. You're going to raise your right arm up to the sky. Take a look at those fingers up there. Bring it back down and switch your legs. Your left leg comes all the way up. You're in low lunge here. And again, raise your left arm all the way up. Look at those fingers up there. Bring it back down. Switch again. Right leg comes up. Right arm comes all the way up to the sky. And then bring that hand back down. We're going into high plank from here. So you're in high plank. And we're going to do four spideys. Right knee to right elbow. Bring it back. Left knee to left elbow. Bring it back. I want you to, when you're bringing that foot back, reach that heel to that back wall. One more on the left side. And then I want you to bring that right foot back up to your right hand. Drop your left knee. Come up to your knee. And just let your hips sink into the, into the mat. 
Bring your hands to the inside of your right foot. Wiggle that right foot out to the edge of the mat and go on to the edge of your foot. We're going into lizard. Okay, so I want you to just, if you want to, push out that foot a little bit more. And then keep that leg out there and come down onto the mat, onto your forearms if you can. Breathe. Come back up and let's bring that left heel to your left cheek. And then if you can, reach back for your shoelace and pull it a little bit closer. Bring that foot back. Wiggle the right foot back to the center. Let's straighten that right leg out for a nice hammy stretch and just bring your body down. Sit down a little bit onto your left foot as you bring your chest down to your right knee. Toe comes up to the sky. Return that foot back to the mat. Hands on either side of your right foot. Return that foot to high plank. To downward dog. Let's push away from your hands. Walk those hands all the way back to your feet. Bend your knees and roll all the way up. Stretching out again all those vertebrae and roll your shoulders back. Coming all the way back up to the sky. We're going to do the same thing for the other side now. All the way down. Walk your hands out to downward dog. Push away. Activate those shoulders. Chest being pushed to your to your knees and your ears are at your biceps. <sighs> Let's raise that left leg all the way up to the sky. Three kicks. Bend that knee and you're looking underneath your left arm. Reach back with that knee. Straighten that leg all the way out and bring that leg all the way through to your left thumb. You're in low lunge. Left arm comes up to the sky. Take a look. Bring it back down. Switch legs. Right leg comes up. Low lunge. Right arm comes up. Another turn. Right leg goes back, left leg comes up, left arm goes up, and back down. Return that left foot to your right foot for high plank, belly to your back, head and heels pulling towards those opposite walls, and right knee to right arm left, right knee to right arm, left, and let's go back to downward dog, push away from your hands, belly to the sky, and let's raise that left leg up high again, and bring it through to your left thumb, Low lunge, drop that right knee, shoelace to the mat, and come up to your knees. Don't push down, just let gravity work. Hands come to the inside of your left foot this time. Wiggle that left foot out and open up that knee. And then just put a little pressure on there. 
Bring your hand back, and if you can, come down onto your forearms and breathe. Come back up, and let's bring that right heel to your butt. If you can, reach back. Ooh, I'm a little tight on this one. Wow. Return that foot back. Bring your left foot back in and let's straighten out that left leg coming down, sitting down on to your right leg as that foot goes up to the sky. And bring your chest down to your left leg. Come all the way back to low lunge and return that left foot to your right foot for high plank to downward dog. Push away from your hands. Ears are up biceps, belly being pulled up to the sky. And let's just, with your feet flat on the mat, let's just bring our hips side to side nice and slowly. A nice little stretch. And your hands and your feet don't move. Push away from your hands again. And let's walk those hands all the way back to your feet. Bend your knees. Pulse it. And start rolling all the way up. Squeezing those glutes at the top and rolling your shoulders back. And let's just come right down onto one knee. We're going to do snowbirds from here. <sighs> just pull up my socky there. Let's extend your right leg out directly from your hip. Shoulders back. Arms are nice lengthened. Rib cage up off your hip bones. And let's bring that left arm down up a centimeter, and then right arm across to your nose. Two, belly to your back. Three, four, five, and six. Bring that wing back up, wing dips. One, reach down to your right leg. Two, belly to your back. Three, four, outer foot on that right foot is flat on the mat, five, and six. Reach down that leg, come down, touch the mat, and then both hands come overhead reaching for that wall up there, the upper crotch, and your right foot is flat on the floor. Lengthen that whole side. Keep the belly pulled to your back. Four, five, and six. And bring that left arm all the way down to the mat and your right arm and left right leg lengthen Core is engaged, belly to your back, and crunch. One, extend. Two, lengthen. Three, breathing in and out. Five, and six and lengthen and then just come all the way back down and let's do the left side left leg out <sighs> rib cage up off your off your rib off your hip bones <sighs> lengthen and bring that right arm down to the mat up a centimeter arm at shoulder height and across one 
two, keep that belly to your back, three, four, five, and six. Wings, dips, touch the mat, come all the way up, reach down that leg, one, two, three, your belly's to your back and your ribs are up off your hip bones, four, five, and six and bring that wing down to the mat up a centimeter and both hands reaching for the crotch up there <sighs> keep that outer left foot flat on the floor three four five and six and bring that right arm down, length, extend both limbs, left limbs, lengthen and crunch. One, two, three, four, five, breathe in and out and six and come all the way back down to tabletop from here hands underneath shoulders knees underneath um, hip bones three tops of your feet make a wish for today all right let's do cat and cow from here all right, so we're going to push into the mat and draw our hands, resist our hands coming to our knees and go up into ca uh, cow, kissing cow. Release, push into the mat and away from your knees, going up to cat, chin comes to your chest. Stay up there and just to have a little wiggle side to side and release. One more time, hands into the mat, resist coming to your knees, to kissing cow. Really exaggerate that kiss. No one's watching. And release and push into the mat and away from your knees. Bring that belly all the way to your back, chin to your chest, feel your upper back, have a nice little wiggle, and release. All right, we're going into bird dog from here, so let's extend that right arm and left leg out, lengthen, from wall to wall, belly to your back, and hold. I want you to do nice three nice big deep breaths in and out. And let's bring those limbs out to the side for six. One, two, Keep that belly pulled to your back. Three, four, five, one more, and six. Lengthen and bring that hand back down. We're going right up to the other side. Left arm, right leg. Lengthen, belly to your back and breathe. And 
and side swipe. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and bring that hand back down and go right into child's pose from here. Sit down on those legs, extend those arms out and bring your forehead down to the mat. Nice big deep breath in and out. Let's walk those hands over to the right and have a nice big deep breath in and out. And walk those hands all the way over to the right left. Get that right cheek off of your right heel. And back to center. And let's bring their forearms to your knees. Open up your knees and keep your feet together. And let's thread the needle from here. So you're going to bring that right arm all the way up to the sky. Open up your chest and then bring that arm all the way through your right elbow, sorry, your left elbow, left knee, palm is up and bring your cheek down to the mat. Always make sure you have a nice big deep breath in and out in that, in every movement. Bring that arm all the way back up to the sky again and thread the needle. Bring that arm all the way back and let's do the left side. Left arm all the way up to the sky. Feel the stretch right across your chest and thread the needle. Cheek comes down. Nice big deep breath in and out. And repeat. Cheek comes down. Reach that arm to that opposite wall with a nice big deep breath in and out. Bring that hand back. Let's go back up onto your knees. Your right hand at two o'clock. Your left hand on top of two, uh, top of your right hand. Sternum over top of your hands. And I want you to push into the mat and resist bringing those hands dead back to your left knee. Feel the stretch in your rib cage and then slowly sit down, keeping that resistance. And again, up, sternum over top of those hands, push into the mat, resist. And as you're resisting, you're feeling your rib cage. And then slowly sit down with a nice big deep breath out. Let's do the other side, pointing at 10 o'clock, right hand on top. Push in, resist coming to your right knee, and slowly sit down. And repeat. Push in, resist, breathe out. And all the way back. Let's sit down on your mats with your legs out in front of you. Let's roll your shoulders back, rib cage up off your, your uh, hip bones. And let's open up our legs nice and wide, shaking them out. wide as they can go.
still. Your string is pulling your body all the way up to the sky. Hands come out and we're going to twist nice and tall and then reach for that foot looking down at your knee. Hold it there for a second and then come back up. Twist around to your left foot and then reach. Remember your neck is to be in line with your spine. Come back up and twist around. Reach. Come back up and twist and reach. And then come back to center and let's just walk our hands out in front belly still pulled into your back and if you can wherever you can just go down as far as you can if you can get your forearms down on the mat that's a big bonus stay there All right, walk those hands out even a little further away this time. I don't want it to hurt. Just it's a just go as far as you can before it hurts and stop. And then bring those hands all the way back. And let's bend your right knee. And we're going to do crazy from here. So swing that left arm all the way around and back. Look at those fingers way back there and then come all the way back down for three, two, and three. Let's switch legs. Bring your left leg in and all the way up. Oh, that feels good. One. Look at those fingers way back there. Two. And three. And then let's just bring our feet, legs back in front. Roll your shoulders back nice and tall. All right, hands out in front, shoulders in their sockets. And let's tilt our pelvis and we're going to roll all the way down nice and slowly, vertebrae by vertebrae. Extend our arms over our head. Let's lengthen wall to wall, belly to your back, right arm, left leg. Left arm, right leg, lengthen. And let's bring our arms right to T from here. Bring your knees up to your hips. So your knees are above your hips. And we're going to do a nice supplying twist. So bring both knees over to the right. Look over to the left. Keep your shoulders on the mat. Bring your hand over onto those top of those knees for three nice big deep breaths in and out. Right through your belly and out. Bring that hand back out to T. And we're going to do air squats from here. So you're going to bring that knee, the, your left knee, to your chest. Open it up and straighten it out and around. One, keeping your belly pulled to your back. Two, and three. And then let's go the other direction. Just opening up those hips, two, and three. 
Let's bring those knees back to center again above your, above your hips. Lay knees above your hips and then bring them over to the left, looking over to the right. Hand on top of knees, three nice big deep breaths in and out. In through your nose and out. All right, hand goes to T, air squats. Bring that knee into your chest. Open that knee up and straighten and around. One. In the saw as well. Two. Uh, which blade do you want on it? The one that's on it. Yeah. And three. And the other way. One. Two. And three. Bring that knee back down to your other knee. And back to center and bring those feet down. Let's bring your right foot over top of your left knee. Open up that knee. See that how your range of motion is and then bring that knee to your belly. Push that let right knee into your left palm, right? R push the knee into palm and then open up that knee. Knee to palm, open up and release and again push the knee into palm this is a fascial stretch of your hip and release and then open up that knee again see how it feels and then let's reach behind your left knee pull your left knee into your left armpit and push out with your right elbow Oh, that feels good. My right side is really tight. Pull and push. And release. And let's do that again. Pull the leg into your left armpit and push out with your right elbow. Hold. You can move that left ankle around. Point and flex and release and bring that leg back down and bring your left leg over top of your right knee open up that leg and then bring that knee back to your belly push the knee into palm and open up that leg keep the resistance going And release, and again, knee to palm. And release, and open up that leg. That was a big difference, that side. All right, let's grab behind our right knee, pull it to your right armpit, and push out. Pull and push and release and again pull and push and release. Let's, let's bring that your feet back down to the mat. Lengthen both legs, give them a nice little shake a -roo. And while they're out there, let's bring our right foot up to the sky. We're going to do a hammy stretch here. So remember your legs have to be completely straight and that left leg stays on the mat. And reach up to your right leg and pull it towards your chest. I cannot do this very far. 
keeping legs, that left leg on the mat. For some reason, they're the ones that people point and flex. Point and flex. Keep it flexed and then pull it a little bit further. And bend that knee and then bring it back down to the mat and let's go to the left side. Left leg comes up, right leg's lengthened and flat. Reach up. Point and flex. Point and flex. Keep it flexed. Pull a little further. Remember you're pulling that leg should be directly above your hip and towards your left armpit and bend that knee and bring it down to the mat. Whoo! Let's lengthen both arms and legs to those opposite walls keeping your belly to the mat. Snow angel those arms down across the floor all the way. Bend your knees and let's hug our knees and roll side to side. Come back to center and let's straighten your right leg out, hugging your left, lengthen and switch, lengthen and switch, lengthen and switch. And let's keep both legs up straight high up to the sky. Bring your hands overhead and we're going to scissors but remember I want you to concentrate on belly to the back, belly to the mat. You've got that blueberry spine happening and I want you to lengthen your limbs. So both hands are together, drop your right leg. Let's go up to our left leg and down for four, six, one. Lengthen those limbs as they're coming down, belly to the mat, two, three, four, five, and six. Now bring your left arm to T. You're lengthening your right arm and left leg and up to the sky and down. One, two, belly to your back, three, four, Five, reach high up to the sky, and six, both hands together, and we're doing the other side, right, reach up to your right leg, and down, one, two, three, four, Five, it's hard, and six, belly to your back, right arm to T, left arm, right leg, one, really lengthen, two, keep the belly to your back, three, four, Five and six. Dory's doing a lot of talking over there. Let's bring her hands overhead and let's just cactus those arms down across the floor, trying to keep them on the mat. 
just nice and slowly stop every now and then and try to get those arms to flatten out across the floor come in as far as you can and then let's go back out cactusing out arms overhead and that snow angel around again and grab our knees and bring them to our chest and let's try to get into a tiny tiny ball bring your chin to your chest be as tiny as you can and release let's straighten out again arms come overhead and we're just going to roll over onto our bellies all the way over for Superman looking straight down at the mat lengthen your body belly to your back and let's go up for the count of three two one and down two three and up one two three and down two three belly to your back up one two three and down nice big deep breath out this time we're going to go up and we're going to cactus so let's belly to your back and go up hold it and bring those elbows to your body and dive in one two looking straight down at the mat three four five and six and come all the way back down Let's bring those arms, those hands to your chest. Push up and back into child's pose. Sit down on those legs. Let's bring those hands, okay, your foreheads on the mat. Bring those hands all the way back behind you. Entwine those hands and bring them up to the sky. Just nice and slowly. Breathe, and then bring those hands all the way back down, extend them down the mat, we're back into child's pose, and let's bring those hands, drag them down the mat, as you start rolling up and coming up to your knees. Your hands are at your knees, and let's come up your quads, and roll your shoulders back. And let's sit down cross-legged from here. Ooh, that's feeling good. All right. Sitting cross-legged. I know it's a little loud down here. Got the plumbers back today. All right, let's put a little pressure on those knees. And let's bring our hands all the way back behind us and let's do some knee taps pushing our, our, uh, our hip flexors up to the upper crotch and switch it and switch and switch and come all the way back and let's bring our soles of our feet together this time pull them towards your body and let's just open up those legs put a little pressure and breathe and come all the way back and extend those legs out in front of you Let's reach high up to the sky and we're going to do a forward fold. 
So let's walk those hands across the sky to the upper crotch and then down the wall, reaching for that wall in front of you. Go down as far as you can, reach, and then just bring those elbows down to the mat and breathe. Come all the way back up. Roll those shoulders all the way back. And I want you to sit whichever way you want to sit. If you want to sit with your legs straight or legs crossed, that's fine. We're going to just do some nice ne neck stretches now. So sitting nice and tall, shoulders in their sockets. Your, your shoulders aren't moving. Just bring that neck to the side. Nothing else moves, just your neck to the side. Hold. And come up to center. And again, go over to the other side. Ooh, not good. Whoa. And come back up to center. And this time you're going to go over to the right. And then I want you to look up to the, just your eyeballs, up to the upper crotch. Come back to center, to the other side, and then look up. Come back to center, go over to the right and look down. Come back to center. Make sure you're moving your head neck to the side, right? And then look down. And come back. Let's look down and up. Down. Bring your chin right to your chest. And then look up. And just look to the left. Then all the way over to the right. And come back to center. Let's roll our wrists around. Make a fist and roll them around. Then roll them the other way. And let's take that, your thumb and your four, in your fingers and just massage up your, your forearm, going all the way up to your elbow. Massage all those tendons. Move your wrist around or back and forth, all right, as you move going all the way up. So you're, you're, you're uh, contracting and stretching out that, your tendons as you're pushing in on all those tendons. And then come all the way back down. Yeah, good. And let's do the other side. Okay, just back and forth. That wrist nice and slowly. Doesn't have to be fast at all. Just massaging in your, on your forearm as you're moving that hand back and forth. All the way up to your elbow. And then all the way back down. Let's bring our hands out in front of us and our elbows up and push those fingers, push those hands together and then do a little finger war. Loud finger. Ring finger and baby finger and entwine those hands and let's push out in front of you. Go up to the sky, reach up to the sky. 
reach, 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 reach. Let go of those fingers and let's bring them all the way down to your side and turn our bodies and let's do three rock and rolls. One, two, and three to our feet, but say, stay in squat position. Hands out in front, just walk them a little further so you feel a nice stretch. Let's go up on our toes, folding those toes in half. And then slowly let's bring those heels all the way down. Leave those hands out there so you have a nice little stretch in the shoulders as well. Feel the calves and then come all the way back up onto your toes again. And come all the way back down. And let's start straightening those legs nice and slowly. We're in ragdoll from here. Move those arms around. Let's bring that right arm all the way up to the sky. Belly to your back. Bring it down. Left arm all the way up to the sky. And back down. Let's give our legs a nice little hug. Say thank you legs for carrying me all this week. Arms are spaghetti. Soft bend in the knees. Pulse it. Find that lowest vertebrae. Belly to your back and it's rolling up nice and slow. Squeeze those glutes as you're coming all the way up and roll those shoulders back. Ah, and shake a root, dance it out, shake it. Woo -hoo, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo. Boop, boo. Nice one, girls. Awesome.